All right, guys, we're up here um, just out of Bountiful, um, heading up uh, maybe to Francis Peak. Uh, we're taking this little side trail I haven't been on in a few years. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which is the best run. Get up to the top, but it's not too great. I think we're going to try to pick this one and hope for the best. I think we're not too bad, I just... I kind of took a different path and I had a weird corner, I couldn't hit this hill. Oh, we got a little bump here at the top. I think we'll be alright. We're mostly there. One of them things you gotta you gotta decide right off the get go and commit. Hopefully we I think we tie back into the main road up here always. Been probably at least ten years since I've been up here, probably longer. On this trail anyway, usually we just take the main road from the top. But this is kind of a little side road, so we'll see how it goes. Well, we uh, tried to take this side road up, and we passed the stop sign. Right back there. Um, and there's a good reason for it, because the trail goes over there. It's a bit of a problem. So I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna Austin Powers turn around here. And I guess we'll head back and head up the main road. So congratulations for us. Okay, well after about uh, 10 minutes of driving around in circles, we're, we're back getting down to the parking lot where we started because the road's washed out up there. Do a Austin Power style 10 point turn. All right, I wanna stop for you, child. Sitting right side of the road. Okay, so now we're gonna get back and then we'll just head up the main road and hopefully get up on top and get out of this alley heat. The upper 90s today. Valley, hopefully, will be 80s or less down in the, or up on top, so that's what we're hoping for. Oh, they're just... Yeah, we're coming across the top here. We came across this, I don't know what kind of flowers those are. They almost look like sunflowers, but they're small. And they don't have the black middle. No. They're just like da daisies. I don't know. But they smell good. And they're gorgeous. Yeah, we came through some snow. We're just uh, trying to find a little, a little bit of water. We'll stop for the dogs. Them get their feet wet. Play a little bit, but I don't want just this muddy road water. Actual running water somewhere. Well, we're not finding a good, a good water spot, but we might have found the next best thing of a nice I'll drift. Oh, we'll stop here and enough running water for the dogs to get a drink. Play in the snow a little bit. Um, I'll play in the snow a little bit too. Oh, it looks muddy over there. Well, maybe we will. I we get somewhere where it's not muddy, get some grass to get in the snow. <laughs> Don't need everybody all muddy. Or the road news. We'll just go park up there and get this. Yeah, I can do that. Now we don't have to worry about any mud. Oh, well, that's where the road is anyway. We should be in the snow. Okay, we'll park in the snow. 
Or we'll slide down. We are uh, definitely getting towards the road less traveled. Um, I think we're getting close to the end. Um, and we're still, this thing's probably only been open for a few weeks this year, just with our snowfall. So, probably not too many people have been up here yet. And we'll see where, I'm not sure, I don't even have been to the end of this road ever before. I have, it's been a long time. But we're getting to the back side of the Wasatch Front. Uh, we're probably actually pushing close to, I don't think we'll ever get up on top enough to see down into Salt Lake Valley, but we're kind of on the back side of those mountains, or at least between Bountiful and Salt Lake. Well, looks like we've hit the end of the line, uh, which I think we were pretty close to the end anyway. Um, so I guess we'll stop here in the shade for a little bit and head back. But it's just great, uh, this time of year, pine smell, flowers and stuff up here blooming. It's been a gorgeous ride. Takes a nice little walk. Um, through them fallen trees. Uh, nice little pond. Well, not really pond, it's just ruts of the road, but fill up with water. Come on up and got Alfred back there. Alfred, we got Nicole and Bosco up there. Just uh, taking in the, the sights and the smells and the cool air. It's nice. I'm not sure what elevation we are, but we're 9,000 feet maybe? I'll look on my app when I get back to the razor. Okay, we've hit our dead end. Now we gotta head back up to the top and then back to the truck. Nice little uh, dead end road. I think it kept going, but there's a couple big trees that are falling across it over the winter or this spring. Now hopefully we'll make it up this uh, rocky road. I wasn't worried about making it up here. Weren't worried? No. <laughs> it's just fun to say. I, just sometimes going down stuff like that when you don't know if you can make it back up makes it a little more stressful. Yeah. Up to this point and see, look out over here. Oh, see, here's our camp spot we should have stopped at. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Throw a couple hammocks between the trees. That would be our sunrise view. I'm not sure what, you probably can't see the roads over there very well, but there's a couple roads on that mountain and I don't know where they are exactly. It's over towards, it'll be towards Park City. Canyon, something like that. little jag in your rock section up here at the top of the trail. Uh, but I don't think this is the way we came through the first time, so hopefully we hit, don't slide off and puncture tire or anything. Oh yeah, a piece of cake. It just, it just looked nasty. Just take it easy and time to ride over it. Hey, okay, did we come from this way? Looks like the road. Problem, there's a ton of trails that fork off here. Uh, but I'm trying not to go off marked trails. But it's kind of hard because some of the off trails look as well traveled as the marked trail. So. Back out of the trees, now we're a little flat. That's probably there's probably too much wind right across here for trees to grow because they're on above the tree line. But we're close. They gotta be a little protected from 
in the wind so they don't so they can get started. All right, guys, we're making it back down to the parking lot. Um, it was a quick 28-mile uh, trip, about two and a half hour with our few stops and hanging out. Uh, just a nice little Sunday afternoon cruise. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.